Today I am at the granddaddy of the Big Bear Trails, John Bull. And uh, we are gonna do a complete trail review guide of the entire John Bull Trail from East Gatekeeper to the West Gatekeeper. We're gonna show you every bump, every obstacle, every rough spot, every tough patch, and uh, let you decide if you think you were able to do uh, John Bull or not. During this entire video, you will see the GPS coordinates along the bottom of the screen so that you'll know where every uh, section is that we talk about. There's several extra credit sections on the trail. We're not gonna go over those. We're gonna show you the easiest ways through the entire trail so that uh, you know if you can get through those, then you can decide if you wanna do the uh, extra credit sections or not. Now the John Bull Trail, gatekeeper to gatekeeper, is just about three, three and a half miles long. I've read some uh, online reviews and information websites that say it's 15 miles long, that's wrong. So the main portion of the trail from uh, gatekeeper to gatekeeper, as I call it, is, is no more than three and a half miles. It might, only, it might even be less than that. Now, I can remember a time back when I first got my Jeep, uh, I started going out with groups and uh, meeting Jeeper friends and they would talk about John Bull, how it was the hardest trail anywhere. Let me tell you something, John Bull is not that hard. The thing about John Bull is that uh, even though it's only about three miles long, like I said, maybe three and a half miles, uh, it just never ends. Uh, you, you go through a rocky part, uh, you come out to a flat, easy section, and you think, oh, we made it. It's easy road from here on out. And then you come around a corner, and uh, oh, there's a whole nother little rock garden, or here's a whole hill I got to go up. No doubt, as you're watching this video, uh, somebody will have come and posted a comment that says, I don't know what the big deal is. I went up John Bowl and did it in my VW van, and it's a piece of cake. And before you dismiss that guy as a clown or a troll, he might be telling the truth. And the reason for that is because this gatekeeper changes all the time. From the first time I was here two or three years ago till today, it's a totally different gatekeeper. But generally, extremely difficult on the right, very difficult through the middle. The uh, easier way, which isn't always easy, and, and it's not easy, the less difficult way is on the left. All right, here we go up the gatekeeper. David just did it in his four-door JK with no lockers. Of course, I'm stick shift, so it's tougher. All right, did a little pirouette dance around the first set of rocks. Yeah, good spotter. So it struggled a bit up the gatekeeper, had a lot of spotting, a little scraping, but it wasn't all that tough. I took the moderately difficult line and made it through. through. So right after the gatekeeper, there's a few more rocks and a little kind of off camber uphill, but nothing like the gatekeeper. bit bumpy then you gotta watch your diff and up a little hill and a few more rocks Just bang on them, power over them. And then up 50 yards and more rocks. A little off 
camber, a little tight curve here. And then more rocks, a little dug out. Actually some significant rockage to get through there. I don't know if you can see it. Looks like I'm caught on something. And David's caught on something. So we all made it through that obstacle. The next obstacle is uh, 20 feet beyond that one, three Jeep lengths, and it's just more rocks. It's kind of another little rock garden, maybe 50 yards long. That's even worse. I don't know who gave you that line. Let me get out and look. David in front of me really struggled getting up. I think he took a bad line. So we're just going to try to take his second line. right after that. And then there's another set of rocks and a little waterfall after that. I was millimeters away from getting my heart jump on that tree. Normally, other times I've been up here, John Bull has been more two-door friendly. And today, John Bull is being four-door friendly, which is kind of surprising. Tight squeeze by this tree. Dave says he nearly hit his hard top on it. Ugh, huge rock to climb. Sideways there. All right, that was tight. And off camber. So as I was saying, before I nearly hit that tree, uh, the trail is being more four-door friendly today. Uh, we're all struggling here and there, but the two-door has been struggling more. All right, another set of rocks. off camera to get over them. Alright. And a lot of 
this trail like where we've been and where we are is real sandy so you're soft and sandy where there aren't rocks so if you get hit a dugout spot you just spin that's another uh, it adds to the challenge <clears throat> more rocks Whoa, off camber and look at that more rocks now Dave has vanished. He's not keeping the Jeep behind him in his rearview mirror. So I shall have to scold him. I shall also have to stop and wait for the Jeep behind me. We're still only a sixteenth of a mile from the uh, gatekeeper. So we just got past the gatekeeper several hundred yards back. And it's uh, more rock garden. There's Dave. I see him spinning his tires. More rocks. Now these rocks aren't huge, but they're placed. <laughs> now they're just kind of all over. So there's a lot of diff catchers. You just got to go through slow and easy. Okay, so that this spot that we're at now is right where the uh, mechanical parts man is. If you've seen photos of that, there is an easyish way on the right, a more challenging way up the left. In the interest of time and getting home in one piece, we're going to take the easier side. So we're just going to squeeze by on the passenger side here. If we don't stall it, climb up that big rock. I think I was far enough passenger side. How am I by the tree? Ah, oh, fuck me. Mark says I gotta go just a little passenger. I gotta climb this huge ledge. Like that? come around this turn and a few more rocks actually then I think it smooths out but it's off camber up this hill oh it's a little bit steep a little bit off camber a few more rocks Camber. Rocks to get around and through and over. I can hear Mark behind me banging on him. A little off camber. All right. Uh, climbing. Looks like uh, Dave rethought that line. All right, another waterfall. Hard right. Kind of steep. Kind of off camber getting to it. There's a diff catcher right there. Right, around the 
down that curve and what do we have ahead? Oh, look at that, more rocks. A little dug out, a little rocky, not horrible, nothing, nothing like what we've been through already. All right, almost up near the top. Good spot up there for lunch. It's a perfect day today. It's about 80 degrees, but the temperature is supposed to drop down into the 40s. So uh, when you come up here, you always want to plan for the worst. I've got blankets and jackets in case we were to break something and get stuck here after dark. It will be cold here tonight. In the winter time, it will be freezing. So don't come up wearing jeans and be unprepared. Almost every time I've done this trail, somebody has broke something. Thankfully, nothing major. Everybody was able to drive out. But you just never know when you'll break something, or pull a bead or pop a tire. So always come up here, prepare for cold weather because that's almost guaranteed uh, once the sun goes down, if not during the day. All right, I think we just might have crested the peak. Going downhill, it was 8,047 feet in elevation. So we came up several hundred feet from where we started. You can see the road is actually quite smooth here, quite easy. This is where it starts. the trail starts to fool you. You think, whoo, that wasn't so bad. I'm through John Bull. And then uh, a minute or two later, you say, oh shit, there's more rocks. Okay, this is our uh, customary lunch area. Big, wide area. We've gotten 20 Jeeps parked up here before. Uh, it's nice and flat, you can pull off the road. So this is uh, my official lunch stop. Back on the move now after the lunch break. The road is relatively smooth. So now we are headed downhill. And really the uh, hardest parts of the trail are done. The gatekeeper in that first half a mile are really the toughest part of the trail. Still a few more things to come up. We're gonna have the tree. Oh, the tree, which is a tight squeeze, but it's not that bad. <clears throat> a couple other rocky sections, but nothing like what we've already hit. And uh, then the west side uh, rock garden, some people call it the west side gatekeeper. It's, it's not bad, nothing like the east side rock garden where we started this morning. It's a little tough. Beautiful views from up here. We're up in the woods. Off to the right, several thousand feet below us, is, uh, I don't know, Apple Valley, Lucerne Valley down there. Uh, on a clear day, it's a beautiful view. And a little bumpy, rocky section again. said this isn't bad I'm just kind of come down some little rocks easy compared to what we've been through already some more rocks in the road they look strategically placed I'm gonna go over them how it is. Rocks, flat road. Flat road, rocks. For the next mile or two. <clears throat> flat road, nice and easy. Ah, start to think it's over. Okay, I'm at the tree. And we are at the tree. It's not real tough. It's a ledge of rocks. You got to hug tight against the tree on the driver's side. And if you don't come down just right, you can put your hard top into the tree. And if you look at the tree, you'll see the uh, scars from hundreds or thousands of Jeeps that didn't do it right. It's all scarred up. Just got to go nice and slow and uh, don't pitch into the tree.
just got to come down nice and slow and you can see the battle scars of this poor tree so the secret of the tree is to not hit the tree oh that's all so let's see how we do you just got to kind of hug it come down nice and slow it's a little off camber you got to climb and as you climb it kind of pitches you into the tree like I'm doing now my mirror is precariously close and then you just come down Ooh. Now I'm pitching into it. And Dave's too busy uh, videoing to spot me, so I'm kind of on my own. But he did it without a spotter. All right, so I'm past the tree. Oop. A little camber. Whoa. And that's all there is. Easy. All right, we're at another ledge, which does get you off camber as you come down. <clears throat> it's probably not even a foot, but you got to come down and then curve around. Do a little Jeep wave on the driver's side. There you go. Another kind of rocky downhill section. Rocky, curvy, twisty. Another little ledge. Actually, that's kind of a big ledge. And then after that ledge is a uh, <clears throat> kind of a sharp, very off camber left turn. And right into some more rocks. And as you can see, oh, except for that rock I just scratched on, the rocks are small easy to get over and looky there smooth road another little rocky ledge <clears throat> not real tough Ooh. gotta climb some rocks to get over it and oh just by the way you can't see it on the video but to my right it's probably about 200 feet straight down, so you don't want to misjudge that one. Those bushes would probably slow down your fall. <clears throat> All right, another rocky section. This is a considerable rocky section. I think this section is a lot tougher coming up than it is going down. I've seen a lot of guys. Oh, little bump there, little bump. A little off camber. Another little bump. So we've got this sharp left curve, this turn. It's a little sandy and soft. That wasn't too bad. And then there's some rocks on the left that you have to get down. And there's a big rock. I kind of call this bang rock because I always drop off it and get my bumper. It is a big drop. Flatten my exhaust pipe again. A little scrape. 
David says he flattened his exhaust pipe on the rock in front of me. My rear is now about to drop down this big ledge. Oh, slower. I'm down. Now I'm down. Struggle a bit on that one. That was just a bad line. Nothing to see here. Ooh. You could hear Mark's uh, bumper coming down that rock that I just struggled down. I normally hit my rear bumper coming down that. This time I didn't. I got hung up on my diff instead, but at least I didn't hit my bumper. Hyperburger. So I got that going for me. Now the rocky section, nothing horrible. All this after those first few uh, areas after the gatekeeper, uh, everything after lunch is relatively easy and a stock Jeep could do it all. So that's kind of the, the level of this difficulty. It's not easy, but it's not horribly hard. And you can see ahead more rocks. Not bad rocks, just no more smooth road. Another uh, diff catcher rock up there. Looks like Dave did it about right. And then more smooth road. All right, this is the uh, other lunch area I mentioned. So check the GPS, check the GPS coordinates to see where it is. But you really can't miss it. It's a big, wide area. There's a little bump there in the middle. That Dave is up on plenty of room for 20 or more jeeps. All right, so after that last uh, big open area, it's quite a little distance of uh, just smooth, flat road, and. That's almost the end of the trail. I think we've got one or two rough spots left. One of those rough spots being the uh, West End Gatekeeper. And then basically, well, and then we are done. This is the West End Gatekeeper, meaning we're just about at the end of the trail. So there are some significant rocks here. Uh, nothing like the East Gatekeeper, but... Oh. Definitely a tough area. It's rough. Smooths out a little bit. Oop, a little off camber. Some more rocks. All right, so this is the gatekeeper. This is the last rock section. And up ahead of Dave there, I see flat, smooth fire road. So this, uh, that last little rock section and what we're coming up on is the worst section on this side and uh, Dave is hung up there. I've gotten hung up there myself so we're not going to laugh at him, <clears throat> to his face at least. I think he's giving me the winch sign. What, what, does that mean winch? Yeah, I'm going to need a winch. What, you can't back up? How'd you do it? You... <laughs> so of course, the last 75 feet of trail, Dave says he's so stuck he needs a winch. <laughs> Other than that, it was a great day.
All right, so uh, we winched Dave off that rock he was hung up on. He uh, crushed up his steering stabilizer, but that's okay because he needed a real one anyway. And now he's uh, readjusting and taking the reasonable line. So I was about to say we made it through this whole trail without needing a winch or anything. And of course Dave blew that for me. So we made it through this trail. Actually, we still got 40 feet to go. With only needing the winch once and only having to stack rocks a few times. Mostly for the two-door. I think I needed a couple of rocks on the uh, gatekeeper. That was with no lockers on the gatekeeper. All right, last little section of rocks. These are kind of big to get over. Ugh. Little slider. Little frame. A little more slider. No bumper. That's it. That's John Bull. Took us uh, about four or five hours. We stopped for lunch, struggled in a few spots, but as you can see, it's not that tough. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. YouTube loves subscribers. I love subscribers. You'll love yourself if you subscribe. If you have any questions, if I did anything stupid or said something wrong, please post a comment below. But we have a no a-hole policy on comments, so if you have something negative to say or critical to say, that's fine, but say it like a grown-up, like a big boy, using your big boy words, and it'll be just fine. Thanks a lot. I hope you've enjoyed this video.